Welcome to the Smite God Reveal for Apollo, God of Music. There are none without admiration for Apollo, God of Music. He is brash, cavalier, and dauntless, with the power to bring hope to the hopeless and change the course of battle with a single arrow. Voices of soldiers, mothers, kings, and emperors, even gods, rise in glorious melody in honor of him, and he, basking in their adoration, shines victoriously. In his humble youth, Apollo was a cattle herder. The trickster god Hermes stole Apollo's charges and led them to a nearby cave. From the shell of a tortoise and the body of a cow, he crafted the first lyre. Apollo finally caught up with Hermes, saw the instrument, and simply had to have it, trading the rest of his cattle to Hermes for it. Years later, Hermes would send his son, Pan, to challenge Apollo in a contest of musical prowess. But Apollo soundly defeated the satyr with dexterous mastery of the lyre. As Apollo grew into his rightful place among the gods, his victories mounted and the songs of the faithful were sung more and more in his name. Now they raise their voices for Apollo to take the field as gods clash. Never one to deny his adoring public, Apollo prepares for one last show. On this battlefield, there are gods of war and gods of death, but the god of music is undefeated. In Smite, Apollo mesmerizes his opponents as a ranged physical assassin. Apollo's passive is called Audacity. After 10 successful basic attacks, Apollo gains Audacity, attacking with both hands and increasing his attack speed for the next 5 attacks. His first ability is called So Beautiful. Apollo strums a single chord on his lyre. It's so beautiful, it hurts, and all enemies take physical damage. His second ability is called Serenade. Apollo sings, mesmerizing all enemies for a short duration. Apollo's third ability is called The Moves. Apollo runs forward and slides on his knees, dealing physical damage and knocking aside all enemies. At the end of the slide, Apollo plays a tune, decreasing the movement of enemies and increasing the movement of his allies and himself. Apollo's ultimate is called Across the Sky. Apollo rides his chariot across the sky, choosing when to land, dealing physical damage and knocking back enemies when he lands. In this fight, Odin and Apollo have the enemy pushed back to their tower. Artemis goes to initiate against Apollo as his beads and amulet come off of cooldown, allowing him to gain immunity to start the fight. Using his abilities keeps the enemy disoriented inside of Odin's ring, and an ultimate across the sky allows Apollo to escape and circle right back around to the fight, securing both kills. This fight has Apollo and Hebo fighting against Loki and Poseidon. Apollo initiates with the moves and So Beautiful, and then uses the Aegis Amulet to wait for Hebo. Hebo uses his wave to dive into the tower, leaving a low-health Poseidon retreating, where a quick across-the-sky chariot ride gets the kill. Shortly after, Loki is still at his tower as Apollo spots a Neath arrow going after him. Using the moves to close distance, he uses So Beautiful to finish him off as well. As the god of music, Apollo relies on delivering deadly on-tune attacks. Starting him off with So Beautiful is an excellent idea for its early game damage capability. Next, picking up the moves is perfect for its escape and initiation potential. Additionally, the speed boost it provides can give Apollo and his allies the edge they need to secure the kill. From there, the priorities shift to Across the Sky 
So beautiful, the moves serenade. Also be sure to check out the excellent new Feaster Bunny Bakasura skin. Thanks for watching the Smite God Reveal for Apollo, God of Music.